Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about shadows, vital shadows, which is part of the vital tantra system. And we are aiming to be life masters. And part of being life masters, which means mastering your life and optimizing it, is to be masters of our shadows. If you don't go and check your shadows, you will never know what's out there in you, the depth of your subconscious mind, in the depth of who you are in the core of your being, and suddenly you have negative emotions, you just label them and you try to ignore them. So that's not what we are doing. What we are doing here is like, okay, you've got a negative emotion, we are going to go and check it out. Why do we want to go and check it out? It's because there is juice, there is energy right there. And so what we are looking at in this specific video is what I call personal shadows. Personal shadows have to do with your inner game, how you function as a human being. You know, for instance, self-negative beliefs, self-limiting beliefs, uh, negative thoughts that you have concerning your life, uh, feeling trapped, feeling alienated, uh, feeling like your body is not good enough. You see, all that is what I call the inner game. And uh, the inner game is an essential aspect of mastering your existence. The inner game means mastering your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs. And uh, within that context already, you have a lot of personal shadows. It means that there are certain emotions co coming in, there might be mood swings, there might be all sorts of things that uh, stop you from being simply happy in a good place all the time. Okay, so that's the inner game. But then when it comes to, for instance, interpersonal relationships, right? Imagine that you have a lover or a partner, a husband or a wife, and that that person seems to be triggering you. All the time. They do something and you systematically blow it. You, you go like live. You get angry, you get pissed with them, sometimes you might get abusive, you might enter into these uh, states of mind which are extremely disturbing for them to witness. So that's another aspect or another shadow. And so the reason why it's happening is because there is something in your system that energetically or emotionally responds to something that they did in a certain way. And guess what? That response is not a universal response. It doesn't have to be like that. For instance, if you get triggered every time they leave, they leave their socks around, right? Dirty socks. So what? You know, why is it that your, your emotions are going to respond to that and get really out of balance and get angry with that? So focusing on mastering your shadows means that you are able to play with your emotions and gain a sense of energetic or emotional mastery. It means that you are able to navigate and consciously choose, select the responses that are going to serve you best. So imagine that you are hit by irritation in a given situation. Again, your partner comes back from work, maybe you're a woman, you see him going straight behind his computer and not talking to you, like almost ignoring you. And so you get triggered because he's ignoring you. So you have so many possible ways of responding to that. He ignores you, you go put your, your, your hand in his back and say, hey, hi, honey, give me a hug. You know, that's it. It's the end of the story. Or you can go into resentment and build up resentment. You say, he always does that to me, you know? It's like anger and frustration internal. Or you can call a friend and start gossiping about that. Or you can go for a jog. Or you can uh, download your anger on one of your friends or your neighbors. Or start sending angry emails to other people. So all those possible responses that you can have in that given situation... Um, you know, it's your choice. That's the thing to understand. So when we talk about shadow mastery, the idea is that you find ways of playing with your shadows that doesn't negatively impact necessarily on the people around you. And if it does, at least it must be a conscious choice. It must be something that you decide consciously out of all the possible emotions and responses that you can have. Okay? Um... So much more to say on this topic. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can go back to the website, vitalcoaching.com. I have about 300 pages of articles just on this topic, on the vital shadows. And right now I'm clearing it up, I'm organizing it, creating maybe a course with it. Uh, there is much more to say on that. I'll be back soon with another tip.